Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can create a image inside of text effect inside of GIMP. So the first thing we should do if you haven't already done so is to start a new document, and I'm going to recommend that you make the background black as an underlying layer, because if you choose to do this step six you see over here, there's going to be some alpha and part of that background may show through in the final result. So the next step is to import the image we want to work with here. So this is going to be the image that fills the text we'll create in the step three. So we simply need to drag and drop the image into GIMP. So I'm going to take this Milky Way photo and put this into the main image area. So this should create the image as its own separate layer here. And next we need to create some text. So the text tool is over here on the top left with the letter A sign. So we can select that place somewhere where we want to start creating text. Uh, I'm going to change the color to white so that it's quite visible. If you want to change the font, you can select this drop down menu here and scroll through all the fonts on your computer. I'm going to be using Big Noodle Titling as one of my favorites for creating big, impactful text. So I'm going to click on the image where I want the text to start writing onto, and I'm going to put our text. So I'll say here, Starry Night. Also select the text and increase its size by left clicking on the leftmost character and holding, dragging over to the right side until I have all the characters selected. And now I can change the font size here, so I'll type 400 and hit enter. And we can reposition the text where we are going to want it on the screen. Um, a good way of doing that is using guides. So you see I have this blue guide down the middle. If you don't know how to add a guide, you can do that by going over to image on the top menu bar, and then go down to guides, new guides by percent, and you'll get this little dialog box. So, so this is a vertical guide at position 50%, so in the center of our image. And with that guide, we can use the Move tool, selecting over here or M on the keyboard, and we can take this text and put it perfectly centered in our image. Okay, the next step is that we need to select the shape of this text. So to do that, we simply go over to the layer for our text in the Layers box, and then we right click and choose alpha to selection. So when we do that, you'll see a dashed line appear around the shape of our text. And we can use that to create a layer mask so that this background image only shows on the areas where there is text. So to do that, we go over to the image that we brought in on step two, and we right click, we go to add layer mask. And then we should get this dialog box where you can initialize a layer mask. So you're going to want to change this to selection. And what that means is that whatever the current selection is on our image is going to define the shape for the layer mask. So everything inside of this dashed line is going to show through on the layer mask. And then everything outside of that is going to be hidden from view. So with selection, you can go ahead and hit add. And what you'll probably see happen is that the image disappears from view. Um, the reason you don't see anything in the text right now is, is because the original text layer is still showing on top of it, and that's pure white. So if we hide the text layer from view by clicking on the eyeball icon, what you should see is the image starts to show through, but only on the areas where we created that layer mask for, which should be the exact shape of the original text. Um, so one optional thing you can do at this point would be to bring back the base image, depending on what kind of effect you want to go for. Um, if you want to bring part of the background image back into view, then what you can do is left click on the image uh, in the layers window, right click it and do duplicate layer. So we can take this layer, drag it down below. So it should be somewhere between our layer masked layer and the background layer. And I'm going to right click to delete this layer mask. And then we can set an opacity for this underlying image layer. So I will take the opacity and make it something very low, like 20 or so. And uh, what's happening here is that part of the final background layer, which is pure black, is going to show through because this image layer, which is covering all the other areas outside of this text shape, is only 20% visible or 80% transparent. So 80% of the black background is going to show through, which is going to make it look dark, although the image is going to show there. So if you deselect everything, this is going to be your final result. Uh, you can, of course, play around with some of the numbers like opacity or add extra effects on top of this, depending on how you want it to look. But that's the basic idea of how you can put an image inside of text inside of GIMP. So that's going to be it for this quick tutorial. I've been Chris. I hope you guys found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.